Carbon, the lifeblood of our planet, pulses through every aspect of existence. From the strands of our DNA to the food that fuels our bodies, carbon is woven into the fabric of life itself. Yet its journey is far from static. Constantly in motion, carbon flows between the atmosphere and organisms on Earth as it's released or absorbed. This perpetual movement, known as the carbon cycle, is a process that has been perfectly balanced for millions of years, until human intervention. Forests are commonly viewed as the biggest carbon sinks, yet the world's oceans actually contain much larger carbon stocks and are better at storing carbon for the long term. Since the Industrial Revolution, the ocean has absorbed approximately 25% of the carbon dioxide emitted into the atmosphere from burning fossil fuels for energy. The main reason for this is phytoplankton. These microscopic marine algae and bacteria play a huge role in the world's carbon cycle, absorbing about as much carbon as all the plants and trees on land combined. Researchers at Ohio University, led by Matthew Sullivan, discovered important viruses that may help regulate the carbon-capturing abilities of marine microorganisms. Collaborating with Nantes University in France, researchers utilized an AI model to delve into the genomes of numerous DNA and RNA virus species found in the world's oceans. Researchers have extensively explored the genetic makeup of these viruses by combining genomic sequencing and advanced artificial intelligence algorithms. What they found was truly remarkable. It has been discovered that viruses in the ocean have a unique capability to steal genes from other microorganisms or cellular organisms related to carbon processing. Scientists revealed an impressive 340 metabolic pathways that extend across the world's oceans. What's even more fascinating is that 128 of these pathways were discovered in the genomes of ocean viruses, highlighting the intricate interplay of life in marine ecosystems. This study delves into phages, which are viruses that infect bacteria, and explores their potential to be expanded within an engineering framework. The aim is to influence marine microbes to convert carbon into a heavy organic form that will sink to the ocean floor. They found out that viruses target the most important reactions in these microbial community metabolisms, which means we can start investigating which viruses could be used to convert carbon toward the kind we want. Scientists are now focusing more on the practical applications of their research findings as they continue their investigations. This research has implications that reach beyond the ocean's boundaries. Professor Sullivan and his team are investigating how their discoveries can be applied to various ecosystems, such as soil microbiomes. Scientists are drawing on insights from oceanic research to develop microbiomes in human environments, such as assisting in spinal cord injury recovery and fighting infections in burn wounds using viruses. Exploring the potential of phages as tools in permafrost soils is another critical frontier in the battle against climate change. Professor Virginia Rich from Ohio State University is leading a team of researchers studying the intricate connections between microbial communities and climate changes in thawing permafrost areas where huge amounts of carbon are stored and are about to be released into the atmosphere, providing optimism for reducing the emission of powerful greenhouse gases. As Professor Sullivan aptly summarizes, the journey toward harnessing the power of viruses is not merely a scientific endeavor. It is a call to action. With each discovery, we inch closer to a more sustainable future, one where nature's wisdom guides us towards resilience and renewal in the face of global challenges. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be up to date whenever we post a new video.